What is up YouTube? Mike here with Step by Step and uh, today we're going to go over computed properties. Now there's two of these. So you have getters and you have setters. So I have taken the liberty of writing a little definition stuff and uh, you know you can screenshot this or whatever you want to do. Uh, so first you have getters. They're defined by the keyword get. And they're used to initialize variables when called. So it's like, uh, so maybe you've set a function in the past that's like, you know, multiply, and all it does is multiply and, and change the variable. Instead, you can use uh, get inside of the, uh, the declaration of the variable. And uh, we'll go over that in a second. And you must use return to set the value. So, you know, return an integer if it's an integer, return a string if it's a string, so on. Um, and then you have setters and defined by the keyword set and it's applied when a variable is modified so say you took that variable and it's an integer and you set it equal to 20 later in the code that's when set would be activated and uh, so it would use you'd use it a lot of times to like once you've set that value then there's another value that feeds off of that uh, and we'll see an example in, uh, in a minute here but whenever you're referring and making calculations in the new uh, in the new set area, you want to use the term new value, and it's already it's already created for you. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. So I'm creating my new playground here. We're just going to start with a blank playground. Um, I'm going to go to desktop, and we're going to call it computed properties. Put it right there, and let's go ahead and bring this baby out. And so, you know, what I what I like to do when I'm in playgrounds, and this is just another hint on top of everything, change the platform to Mac OS, and it'll compile a lot faster. So uh, here, I want to set this to automatically run, and Mac OS doesn't have UI Kit, so we want to change this to Foundation. Um, and then, yeah, it runs it pretty much instantly. So, if you're if you have a you know a slower computer, then this is definitely a great solution when you're in playgrounds. Now, without further ado, uh, let's start talking about computed properties. And we're just going to use an example. Uh, I've I've been hanging out with my dog today, Maverick, and uh, I thought I'd make the example about he's he's staring at me now, but I, I thought I'd make the example about uh, dog food. So we're going to use it to calculate how much dog food we can feed a dog, or and how many dogs we can feed with the food um, using getters and setters. So we're going to start out with a variable that is bags of dog food and we're just going to say we have two bags and variable that's food bag size in pounds sorry if you're in a country that uses the metric system um, this is just what I learned on I would actually prefer the metric system but uh, we just don't do it now uh, let cups per pound so this is on average like per each pound of dog food there's uh, four cups of food, um, and he literally started eating right now. So weird, it's making me hungry. But uh, so yeah, we'll let cups eaten per dog equals two. And this is this is obviously a lot if you have a small dog, like most people here in LA do. Uh, but whatever, just for an example. Uh, and now we're going to have a variable that is cups of dog food and we're going to calculate how much dog food we have and whereas so let, let me just show you how, how you would do it in the past you would use a font that is find cups or something like that and then you would have cups of dog food equals cups per pound times 
food bag size in pounds times bags of food. So that's that's how much you have. Oh uh, well, yeah. just get it running. So now, and we're gonna print cups of dog food. And then we have to call the function find cups. And there we go. So we have 240. Now uh, that you know that's one way to do things. Um, but using a getter is going to save us a lot of time. So we're just going to take this and we're going to cut and we're going to delete all this stuff. Now, going into this, we still we have to declare that it's an integer. And uh, whenever you use getters and setters, you have to declare the type of your, your item here, your variable. Now, uh, I'm going to use git, and we're going to paste this, but instead of saying cups of dog food, we just want to return Now we print cups of dog food, and there we go, 240. And see, we just saved a few lines of code and some, you know, memory problems trying to call the function, even though, you know, on an app of this scale, it doesn't matter. But, you know, once you've got a lot of things flying everywhere, then you want to save some lines of code, and you want to make it more efficient and readable. And this is a great way to do it. But now let's say I want to change cups of dog food manually to say we have 30 cups. And now I want to find out how many, because it says it's a get only property, we're going to fix that in a minute. But I want to find out how many dogs can I feed with this. Now, if it's a get only property, then you can't change it. It's more like a, it acts more like a constant in that manner. But what we can do is we can add a setter with the set keyword. And uh, we're going to create another uh, variable or constant constant in here called amount of dogs fed. And it's going to equal that new value keyword we talked about. See, it's, it's already there. You don't you see the autocomplete. Um, it's already provided to you. You can't change it or anything. Just you know, use that. And we're going to divide it by cups eaten per dog to see how many dogs we can feed. And as you can see, it's already you know figuring it out for us. Uh, but just just to be clear, I want to print. You can feed. And then, you know, if you use uh, backslash and parentheses, you can uh, interpolate inside of a string, whatever you want. Just a little tip if you're not familiar with that. Um, you can feed that amount of dogs fed. Dogs. Oops. Dogs with this food. So now when we change it, yeah. So if we guess that they're going to you know, eat two cups per dog, then we can feed 15 dogs with this food. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, check out some of my, my other videos. Uh, don't be afraid to subscribe. And also, I just started a uh, podcast, and it's a vlog on here as well. So if you subscribe, you'll get that. Uh, it's uh, Swift Life. It's about uh, me just talking about my week as a developer at Impulse. It's a small startup. And uh, going good so far. We're we're on week two, so you know, catch catch it before it gets you know super popular, which it probably won't. You could be you could be one of my five listeners, and uh, that that would make me feel really good. So, <laughs> all right, yeah, thanks everybody.